So consider the general linear differential equation of second order that is d2y by dx square plus px dy by dx plus qx y equal to rx let us call this equation number one where p q and r are functions of x okay now we will start with the method so what is the method so this is my target i want to solve this particular differential equation by the method of reduction of order already we have learned in the previous section that the same differential equation can also be solved by using the also be solved by using the method of variation of parameters okay if p and q are constants then we can also solve the differential equation by using the general method general method was for p and q constants if they are variables then also you can use the variation of parameters method or the method of reduction of order so let the homogeneous differential equation associated to one That is d2y by dx square plus px dy by dx plus qxy be equal to zero. Have solution y1. Okay, so I'm assuming that the associated homogeneous differential equation means this is zero. Okay, suppose I know one solution. What is that one solution? That one solution is y1. So this y1 will satisfy this homogeneous differential equation. So let me write it. This is equation two. Therefore, y1 satisfies equation 2 because it is the solution of the associated equation is equation number 2. Now what we want, we want to find general solution of equation 1 which is the non homogeneous differential equation this we want to we want to find the general solution of this using y1 so we will use this y1 and we will find the general solution of the equation 1 so let the general solution let the general solution be y equal to y1 of x multiplied by some other function v of x 
where v of x is some function which we need to determine so we will determine this see y1 is already known to us y1 is here okay what if i want to find the general solution y what is my target i must be able to find this function v of x okay that's why i have written here which we need to determine so remember our main target is to find y but y is depending on y1 and v out of which y1 is known and therefore it remains that if i find v i will just multiply v with y1 and i will get the general solution of equation one so how will i determine this v now So we will first differentiate this y. Now why am I going to differentiate this y? Because I want to differentiate and double differentiate and then I will substitute that in the first equation d2y by dx squared dy by dx and y. Okay, here I'm going to substitute. So let us differentiate this y. So differentiate with respect to x. So dy by dx is equal to y1 as it is into dv by dx plus dy1 by dx into v. And what is the double derivative? Let us double derivative differentiate it. So d2y by dx square. Remember y1 and v are functions of x so now onwards i will just write them y1 and v you have to understand that they are functions of x okay so i can differentiate them with respect to x so what is the derivative of this now this will give you two terms right and this will also give you two terms in the derivative so you'll get four terms so you get y1 into d2v by dx square plus dy1 by dx into dv by dx because of the first term we get two terms plus now let us differentiate this dy1 by dx into dv by dx plus dy d2y1 by dx square into the second function v as it is so we have got these four terms out of which you see these two terms are same so i will write y1 d2v by dx square plus 2 dy1 by dx into dv by dx plus d2y1 by dx square into v this is the expression for d2y by dx square okay now i will look at what is y equal to what is original y equal to y is equal to y1 v so let me write this equation a what is dy by dx let me write it equation b and what is d2y by dx squared? This is equation C. And now we'll take A, B, and C and substitute them in equation one. Okay. Remember this method that we are following, the same method we are going to use for problems. So once you understand this method, all the problems you have to follow the same method. Okay. So substitute A, B, C. in equation one 
what is equation one? The equation one was d two y by d x square plus p d y by d x plus q y equal to r of x. Okay, p and q also depend on x. What is d two y by d x square? D two y by d x square is this. So let us write those three terms. Y one d two v by d x square plus 2 dy1 by dx plus or into dv by dx plus d2y1 by dx square into v plus p times what is dy by dx we have dy by dx written above in equation b which is y1 dv by dx plus y dy1 by dx into v plus q what is y y is y1 into v x is equal to r of x let us collect the terms together now what are the terms which are having the double derivative of v the terms which are having the double derivative of v so let me write how am i collecting the terms collecting terms of d2v by dx square dv by dx and v okay so only y1 has y1 is with d2v by dx square plus what are the terms which are having dv by dx the term which are having dv by dx is once here okay so which is 2 dy1 by dx okay dv by dx i have taken out Plus, I have this term also is there, which is p y one into dv by dx. What are the terms with v only v? The terms with only v, sorry, is equal to r x. The terms with only v is this is the term with only v. So d two y one by dx square plus the term with only v is p. dy1 by dx plus this is also with only v q y1 okay but now you realize that this square bracket term is going to be zero why because y1 is solution of the homogeneous differential equation 2 so we have written it above that y1 if i substitute y1 in equation 2 i'm just going up and show you in equation 2 see we have written here that y1 will satisfy this equation 2 so when i put here y1 this is going to be how much this is going to be obviously equal to 0 okay so there i can uh, the square bracket simply becomes 0 now what is remaining so therefore we what we will get is y1 d2v by dx square plus 2 dy1 by dx plus py1 into dv by dx is just equal to how much just equal to rx okay now here if you observe in this particular step okay let us call this particular step to be the let me call name it equation h okay what is h h stands for hint okay you'll understand this when we do problems okay let's call the step h now we will substitute here we will substitute here dv by dx i will substitute by just w okay let me write w properly it's looking omega okay w so when i do that if i substitute dv by dx is equal to w this means that d2v by dx square when i take the derivative it will become dw by dx so this is a consequence of the above substitution therefore step h So step H becomes what does step H becomes? Step H becomes y1 
dw by dx plus 2 dy1 by dx plus py1 w is equal to r of x okay and uh, now what is this uh, actually looking like so i will divide by this y1 okay so so we will divide by y1 now why can i divide by y1 y1 is not equal to 0 because uh, we are going to take a non trivial solution of the equation 2 okay so let us say let me assume here okay assume that y1 is not a zero solution so this means that dw by dx plus something times w is equal to something let me call it r1x who is r1x r1x matlab what will be r1x r1x is rx upon y1 because i'm dividing by y1 by dx plus p y1 p into y1 upon y1 okay and this looks like what now this looks like a linear differential equation this is a linear differential equation in in what in w this is a linear differential equation w which can be solved by using integrating factor okay so this is where the method ends okay so uh, this method will give you w once you get w from this differential equation that w will give you v and that and that v will give you your general solution y okay so now let us do one simple problem and uh, understand how to solve differential equations using method of reduction of order question solve by method of reduction of order so it is d2y by dx squared minus 5 dy by dx plus 6y equal to 2 e raised to x okay first let us write the auxiliary equation and find the complementary function as usual m square minus 5m plus 6 equal to 0 and therefore m is equal to 2 and 3 and therefore yc e raised to 2x plus c2 e raised to 3x so the two solutions of the homogeneous differential equation are e raised to 2x and e raised to 3x so it is our choice that any person i can choose as y1 so what does the method needs the method needs let me recollect the method quickly we need only one solution of the homogeneous differential equation so y1 i will either choose e raised to 2x or e raised to 3x once i choose that y1 my next important step will be taking y equal to y1 into v and then we have differentiate double differentiate and substitute in the original differential equation and get a linear differential equation at the end okay this is how we are going to proceed so let us take 
y1 equal to i'm choosing e raised to 2x you can choose e raised to 3x also no harm so let y1 be equal to e raised to 10. assume that the general solution y is equal to y1 into b okay where y1 is also a function of x which is e raised to 2x and what is v v is a function of x therefore y is equal to e raised to 2x into v remember v is a function of x sorry y1 name y differentiate with respect to x twice so dy by dx is equal to e raised to 2x into dv by dx plus 2 e raised to 2x into v redifferentiate d2v by dx square is equal to e raised to 2x d2v by dx square plus 2 e raised to 2x into dv by dx plus next now we are going to differentiate this 2 e raised to 2x into dv by dx plus 2 e raised to 2x into I am differentiating e raised to x 4 e raised to 2x into v which is equal to e raised to 2x into d2v by dx square plus 4 e raised to 2x dv by dx plus 4 e raised to 2x v this is my expression for d2v by dx square and what we do we substitute v we substitute y sorry we substitute y dy by dx and d2y by dx square in original differential equation original differential equation means the one which was having right hand side something right what was that differential equation d2y by dx square minus 5 dy by dx plus 6y equal to 2 e raised to x this was the original question therefore we will get e raised to 2x d2v by dx square plus 4 e raised to 2x dv by dx plus 4 e raised to 2x into v minus 5 times dy by dx what is dy by dx dy by dx is this e raised to 2x dv by dx plus 2 e raised to 2x into v plus 6 times y what is y y is e raised to 2x into v this is just y right am i right yes so y is only e raised to 2x plus v into v equal to 2 e raised to x this is the right hand side what was the step that we did in the method after this we collected the terms of d2v by dx square dv by dx and v correct so collecting terms of d2v by dx square and dv by dx which is e raised to 2x d2v by dx square plus now the terms of dv by dx what are the terms of dv by dx what are the terms 4 e raised to x minus 5 e raised to 2x only this much
and what is in last term the last term was of only v but now if you observe clearly that uh, this has to become zero why this has to become zero uh, this is four and this is uh, minus 10 plus 6 you see all these terms are cancelling okay 10 with a 10 will cancel so you will not get anything with respect to v is equal to 2 e raised to x i hope everybody understands this they're getting cancelled 2 e raised to x okay so when i'm solving a problem okay and when i substitute this d, d2y by dx square and dy by dx when I substitute in the original equation remember that all the terms of v must cancel each other okay they must cancel each other and you must be left with that is why i wrote here collecting terms of d2v by dx square and dv by dx i have not written their v because i know that the terms which involve v must cancel each other right this when the when all your terms respect to v cancel each other this is a hint that you are your calculations are going correct that is why i had called this step h okay in the midst if you go somewhere wrong and if it happens that some of your terms with v are not cancelling each other it means there is some problem with the above steps see here in the method also automatically d2v by dx square was left dv by dx and the terms which were involving v became zero that is why when you reach this step that there is no v but only dv by dx and d2v by dx square are there it means you are on the right track so on the half of the way i am going right so let me simplify it a little bit so it is e raised to 2x d2v by dx square minus this will become e raised to 2x dv by dx equal to 2 e raised to x and you know you divide it by y1 in the steps right so divide by divide by e raised to 2x so it will look d2y by dx square sorry d2v by dx square minus dv by dx is equal to e raised to minus x because i'm, I'm divided by what i've divided by e raised to 2x and after you reach this step where only v is in the problem what you have to do is i will substitute see in the method we have written substitute w equal to what dv by dx and therefore d2 w dw by dx will become what d2v by dx squared so this differential equation which is looking tough now becomes smaller differential equation right this is a differential equation of what order this is the differential equation of order 2 but when i do this what will happen i will get dw by dx minus dv by dx dv by dx is w is equal to 2 e raised to minus x now what is the order of this differential equation the order of this differential equation has become one so the order has reduced from two to one and that is the reason this method is called reduction of order it means that your original question was a differential equation of order two and by doing some substitutions i have brought it to a stage that you have to solve a differential equation of order one in general this method also can be used if you have a differential equation of order three by using such substitutions you can reduce your problem to solving a differential equation of order two and again this order two differential equation can be used by substitutions and reduced to differential equation of order one 
and we know that differential equations of order one like this are easy to solve so the problem becomes easy now now this is which type of differential equation this is a linear differential equation everybody knows what is a linear differential equation it is of the form dy by dx plus py equal to q and what is the integrating factor for this particular differential equation it is e raised to integration p dx and therefore what is the solution how do you write the solution solution you write it as y into integrating factor is equal to integration of right hand side q multiplied by the integrating factor dx plus constant okay so here who is playing the role of y now here my differential equation is in w so dw by dx plus pw is equal to q q is who is your q this is your 2e raised to x and therefore what will be the solution equal to the solution will be equal to w equal to so w into integrating factor is q into integrating factor dx and right so who is your integrating factor here the integrating factor is e raised to integration minus 1 dx okay because your p is what p is how much p is minus 1 I'll put a bracket in which is e raised to minus x therefore w into integrating factor e raised to minus x is equal to integration 2 e raised to minus x this is q and integrating factor itself is e raised to minus x plus a constant okay i hope i'm going correct huh? which is equal to w e raised to minus x what is integration e raised to minus 2x e raised to minus 2x upon minus 2 so that minus 2 will cancel this So W will be equal to e raised to x plus c e raised to minus x plus c e raised to x. So this will become your W correct because I've transferred this e raised to minus x on that side. So you got a W here, right? ask yourself a question what was i solving who was my target my original target my original differential equation was with respect to y correct so i am expected to find y right have i found y no i have found w but who is w in this substitution method we wrote w is equal to dv by dx so let us write that what is w so this means that dv by dx is equal to this e raised to minus x plus c e raised to x right and therefore what is v equal to v is the integral of this e raised to minus x plus c e raised to x correct and what is the integral of this so v is e minus e raised to minus x plus c e raised to x the integral of c e raised to x is c e raised to x right plus a constant let me call this constant c dash of integration so this is v so finally i have obtained my v again ask yourself a question have i got the solution no my original question was demanding a y and i have got a v but what do we know but we know that we have substituted y equal to y1 into v therefore y is equal to 
y1 who was y1 what was y1 taken to be remember y1 was e raised to 2x into v right so let me write a step sorry i forgot a step here to write that what is v equal to d uh, what is uh, w equal to db by dx i'm sorry to write here okay yeah and what is your v now we have just now obtained a v so e raised to 2x into minus e raised to minus x plus c e raised to x plus c dash which is y equal to c e raised to x plus sorry 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 c e raised to 3x plus c dash e raised to 2x plus minus e raised to x correct and if you really compare this what you get y equal to who is this what is this uh, initial first two parts this was your complementary function right c1 e raised to 3x plus c2 e raised to 2x in c1 and c are same c dash and c2 are same okay and what is this minus e raised to x so you have got at the end of method of redu uh, reduction of order you have got the solution which includes the complementary function and the particular integral both you've got yc and yp both at the same time so this will give you a final solution correct yes that's right question solve by method of reduction of order d2 y by dx squared minus y equal to x minus 1 solution auxiliary equation fm is equal to m square minus 1 equal to 0 so m is equal to plus minus 1 so the complementary function y will be equal to c1 e raised to x plus c2 e raised to minus x we will now choose y1 you can choose anybody as y1 so i will choose y1 equal to e raised to x and let y equal to y1 into v which is e raised to x into v and therefore when i differentiate this i will get e raised to x into dv by dx plus e raised to x into v i will redifferentiate it d2y by dx square equal to e raised to x d2y by dx square d2v by dx square plus e raised to x into dv by dx which will come twice plus e raised to x into v and now i will substitute in the differential equation so i will get e raised to x what is the differential equation the differential equation is d2y by dx square minus y equal to x minus 1 and therefore i will get e raised to x d2v by dx square plus 2 e raised to x dv by dx plus e raised to x v minus y y is v e raised to x equal to x minus 1 you see the terms of v have cancelled so this is my hint that all my steps are going correct so this will mean that d2v by dx square plus 2 dv by dx is equal to x minus 1 upon e raised to x so i've transferred all the e power x on that side and therefore when i substitute w equal to dv by dx obviously dw by dx will become d2v by dx square 
and therefore this will become dw by dx minus 2w equal to x minus 1 upon e raised to x and this is a linear differential equation in w with the integrating factor if is equal to e raised to integral minus p dx plus 2w plus 2w thank you plus 2 dx is e raised to 2x and therefore w into integrating factor is equal to integration of the right hand side which is x minus 1 upon e raised to x into the integrating factor is e raised to 2x dx plus a constant and this is nothing but not a good step which is e raised to x into x minus 1 dx plus constant is w e raised to 2x which is w into e raised to 2x integration of this is my u I'm going to use a light u and this is v so u into integral of v integral of v is e raised to x integral of minus integral of u dash the derivative of x minus 1 is 1 into integral of v is e raised to x again plus c constant so this integration is e raised to x x minus so let me separate out the x minus 1 e raised to x minus e raised to x plus constant w e raised to 2x minus divide the thing with e raised to minus 2x i will get w equal to x minus 1 e power minus 6 minus e power minus 6 plus c e power minus 2x which is the same thing to say that x minus 2 e power minus x plus c e power this i have combined up minus 2x this is w but i know that w is dv by dx power minus 6 plus c e power minus 2x therefore v will be integration so you have to integrate it twice right so x minus 2 e power minus 6 plus c e power minus 2x dx this is the second time we are performing the integration step which is v equal to again i'm going to use here light rule i'm going to use a product rule u is this and this is uh, v so u integration of e power minus x is e power minus x upon minus 1 minus integral of u dash the derivative of u is 1 into integration of e power minus x is e power minus x upon minus 1 plus the integration of this term is c upon minus 2 e power minus 2x plus again a constant of integration c dash which is x minus 2 e power minus x the minus sign plus let's make this plus e power minus x minus e power c power minus 2x upon minus 2 plus c dash this is v i really don't want to simplify this because i know that we are very close to the solution therefore y is equal to v into y1 who was your y1 who was your y1 y1 was e power x it is v into e power x so this means that y is equal to write this v and multiply it by e power x when i multiply this e power x to each of the term over here i will get minus x minus 2 e power x multiply ho gaya to this will go away plus again e power x when I multiply to this will become 1 minus plus c upon 2 there's no minus sign here e 
root minus x plus c dash e power x. Okay, and this means that uh, I'm getting this is my c1. I suppose this is my c1. Okay, c1 is c, and this entire thing is my c2. And what finally it comes up to be is y is equal to c1 e raised to x plus c2 e raised to minus x. And what is this entire calculation? Minus x plus 1. Okay, minus x plus 1. And this becomes your general solution. So let us consider. Consider the differential equation P naught D two Y by D X square plus P one dy by dx plus p2y equal to some rx okay let's see that we write case one suppose y is equal to x y is equal to x then what will happen dy by dx will be equal to 1 and d2y by dx square will be equal to 0 therefore when I substitute in star substitute in associated homogeneous equation of star that is p naught what is the associated homogeneous equation of this particular equation the associated homogeneous equation is put rx equal to 0 that is p naught d2y by dx square plus p1 dy by dx plus p2y equal to zero. this is the associated homogeneous equation of star but what you know what you know that d d2y by dx square is how much zero so p naught into zero plus p1 into 1 plus p2 into what is y equal to dy by dx is 1 and y is equal to x equal to 0 so we get that so what are you getting we get p1 plus p2x is equal to 0 this case we get okay this is the condition okay case two if y is equal to e raised to x then what will happen then dy by dx is also e raised to x okay and uh, d2y by dx square is also equal to e raised to x okay so when i substitute in associated homogeneous differential equation of star what am i going to get i have the p naught d2y by dx square 
plus p1 dy by dx plus p2 y is equal to 0 becomes what does this become this becomes p naught e raised to x because d2y by dx square dy by dx and y all are e raised to x plus p1 e raised to x plus p2 e raised to x is equal to 0 so when i pull out that e raised to x i will get p naught plus p1 plus p2 equal to 0 and if when i e raised to x is a non-zero number so i will divide it both the sides so i will get p naught plus p1 plus p2 is equal to 0 okay so this is for case 2 what is case 3 if i take y equal to e raised to minus x what will happen i will get dy by dx is equal to minus e raised to minus x and d2y by dx square will become what it will become again e raised to minus x and when i substitute in the associated equation of star it will become p naught d2y by dx square plus p1 dy by dx plus p2 y equal to 0 will become what so it becomes e raised to minus 6 here it is minus p1 e raised to minus 6 plus e raised to minus x is equal to plus sorry plus p naught is remaining and here p2 e raised to minus x is 0 and therefore when i pull e raised to minus x out i will get p naught minus p1 plus p2 is equal to 0. So again, this quantity is non non zero. So he is going divide karenge. So I will get p naught minus p one plus p two is equal to what zero. Okay, this is case three. Okay, I will work out all the cases and then I will tell you what is the conclusion of all this particular thing. So case uh, number what? It is case number four. Let me say case number four. Is number four if i take y equal to e raised to ax in general okay then y dash is a e raised to ax and y double dash is a square e raised to ax and when you substitute in that equation again the above equation p naught a square e power ax plus p1 a e power ax plus p2 e power ax equal to 0 will become so this e power ax will cancel and what we will get we will get a square p naught plus a p1 plus p2 is equal to 0 okay if you just simply consider um, if you consider sim in similar cases if you consider sin x okay y is equal to suppose you take sin x okay then a dash is uh, cos x and y double dash is minus sin x and therefore when I substitute in p2 y double dash plus p1 p0 y double dash plus p1 y dash plus p2 y equal to 0 what will this uh, become this will become minus sin x y double dash sorry p naught sorry sorry minus p naught sin x plus p1 what is y dash cos x plus p2 is plus p2 into sin x is equal to 0 and then when i divide it by sin x throughout what will i get we will get minus p naught i hope i'm going right i'm not making mistake anywhere please correct me if i'm going wrong somewhere okay now uh, so minus p naught sin x plus p1 cos x by sin x plus p2 is equal to zero and uh, what am i getting i'm getting that minus p naught plus p1 cortex plus p2 is equal to zero. I think I'm going to correct. Please 
if there is some minor correction please do it what is next case 6 is if y is equal to cos x then then what will happen y dash is minus sin x and y double dash is uh, minus cos x so this equation p naught y double dash plus p1 y dash plus p2 y equal to zero becomes p naught uh, p naught into y double dash y double dash is minus cos x plus p1 y dash is minus sin x minus sin x plus p2 y y is cos x equal to zero and if i divide by cos x throughout what will i get i will get minus p naught minus p1 sin x by cos x okay plus p2 is equal to zero so i will get you know, subtract if i put the minus if i divide by minus sign also um, if I multiply by minus one so this will become p naught plus p1 tan x minus p2 is equal to zero okay so what is the conclusion of all these calculations okay so let me now make a small chart so what was the so summary what is the summary of all this what is the equation the original equation is p naught d2y by dx square plus p1 dy by dx plus p2y equal to r of x okay and what is the solution that i've taken solution of homogeneous equation means taking rx equal to zero and here i'm writing the condition okay what is the solution what was the first thing uh, we took we took y equal to x if y is equal to x what was the condition that we got we got the condition that let me quickly see what is the condition see the condition is p1 plus p2x is equal to 0 if y is equal to e raised to x what is the condition the condition is p0 plus p1 plus p2 must be 0 if y is e raised to minus x the condition is p0 minus p1 plus p2 is 0 e raised to ax a square a square p0 plus p a p1 plus p2 is equal to zero for sin x you have minus p naught plus p1 cortex plus p2 equal to zero and here you have p naught plus p1 tan x minus p2 is equal to zero so this is what i'm writing here okay so here i will have what is the condition p1 plus p2 x is equal to zero p1 plus p2 x is equal to 0 second y equal to e power x will give me p naught plus p1 plus p2 equal to 0 and what is y equal to e power minus 6 we'll have p naught minus p1 plus p2 equal to 0 y equal to e power ax in general where a is any real number what will the condition be at p naught into a square plus a into p1 plus p2 must be equal to zero if phi sin x then we have two conditions here here i had minus p naught plus p1 cortex plus p2 is equal to zero and here i have p naught plus p1 tan x minus p2 is equal to zero so these are the conditions on p naught p1 and p2 okay now what is the use of all this particular thing now let us see one small problem so that it will be clear to you right so question solve 
the differential equation. x minus 1 d2y by dx square minus x dy by dx plus y equal to 1 solution by method of reduction of order. Okay, so now we all know that this equation, this differential equation is having, look at the coefficients of the derivatives. The coefficient of the derivatives are not constants. They are variable functions, right? So initially, whatever differential equations we used to take in the earlier part, they were all something like this, 5 d2y by dx squared plus 3 dy by dx. So these were the differential equations with what? With coefficients as what? constants and therefore you could quickly write the auxiliary equation as 5m square plus 3m plus 3 equal to 0 and so on okay but now here the with the coefficients are not constant coefficients so we cannot write auxiliary equation we cannot write anything now okay and uh, we know that if you want to solve a problem by method of reduction of order what must what is your basic need your basic need is that you must know at least one solution right earlier what we used to do look at the earlier problems earlier what we did in these problems for example i'm looking at this problem i have to solve this particular differential equation the coefficients are one and minus one they're constant coefficients and therefore what i wrote i wrote the complementary function a complementary function we say humne ek aadmi choose kar liya y1 and then we started the the method of reduction of order okay so here we could write the solution is e raised to x okay uh, of the homogeneous differential equation now what we will do in this particular case we don't know the complementary function we don't know what is the auxiliary equation so how will you start the method for that you will need one solution which is the solution of what this is the solution of the homogeneous differential equation y1 kiska solution tha y1 was the solution of homogeneous differential equation so here now what is the homogeneous differential equation so the associated homogeneous differential equation is sorry differential equation is x minus 1 d2y by dx square minus x dy by dx plus y equal to 0. Do we know a solution? Can you tell me which, which y1 should I put here so that it will become the solution of this differential equation now how do you find this y1 can we make a guess of finding a y1 over here so what we will do is We will look at the coefficients. Now, who are the coefficients? This is P0, this is uh, P1, and this is 1 is uh, your P2. Okay. So, can you check uh, what is uh, this P0, P1, and P2? So, P0 is x minus 1, P1 is a minus x, and P2 is what? P2 is 1. Okay, this P not P1, P2 satisfy which condition? At least I can do my my initial work here. So is P1 plus P2 x equal to zero, or is P not plus P1 plus P2 is equal to zero? Is P not minus P1 plus P2 equal to zero? If you carefully observe here, with the simplest thing is that if you just add these three people. This x and a minus x will cancel. This one and minus one will also cancel. And I understand that 
it is very easy to say that p0 plus p1 plus p2 is equal to 0. So we observe we observe that p0 plus p1 plus p2 is equal to 0. Therefore, by our above conclusions that we have said, we, have, we can say that e raised to x must be the solution of the homogeneous equation. Okay, so we can now say, therefore, the e raised to x is a solution of the above homogeneous differential equation and this now by my method of reduction of order i can say that so choose y1 equal to what so choose y1 equal to e raised to x okay and therefore what is the general solution according to the method of reduction of order therefore the general solution is y equal to y1 into v okay where v is some function of x means y is equal to what y is equal to e raised to x into v and therefore dy by dx is equal to e raised to x into v dash plus e raised to x into v and therefore what is d2y by i'm going for to the method of production of order as usual okay which is equal to e raised to x v double dash plus e raised to x v dash plus the derivative of these in the next term is e raised to x v dash plus e raised to x into v and uh, then i will take all these derivatives and double derivatives and i will substitute these people in the original differential equation so substitute in original differential equation star okay let me call this original question star okay so it is x minus one y double dash minus x y dash plus y equal to one okay and uh, which is x minus one y double dash is kafi bada hai e raised to x v double dash plus e raised to x v dash is two times ye do bada gaya this is two times 2 e raised to x v dash plus e raised to x v minus x into uh, y dash minus x into y dash is e raised to x v dash plus e raised to x v okay and last term kya tha? plus y what is y but y is e raised to x v is equal to how much one we know that when i do this particular step uh, what should happen uh, all the terms of v should cancel let's check if all terms of v cancel or not uh, this is minus e raised to x into v so this is minus e raised to x into v this term will cancel with this term okay then then you have minus x into v and this is plus x into v right so yes so this e raised to x into v this cancels with this okay so all the e raised to x terms have v terms have cancelled and what am i getting i'm getting x minus 1 e power x v double dash plus 2 e power x v dash minus mm, minus uh, x e power x v dash is equal to 1 i hope i'm correct please check me so this x minus 1 e power x v dash v double dash plus here i have uh, 2 minus x power x v dash is equal to 1 Okay, please check this if it is correct. Okay. 
is it correct i'm, I'm just checking it again is there something that i'm missing here this is actually what see this is i have to write it carefully this is 2x correct this is 2x e raised to x v dash minus 2 e raised to x v dash correct so then this 2x and minus x will become only x correct so it is not 2 minus x but it will become what it will become x minus 2 i hope everybody is understanding this And therefore if i divide by x minus 1 what am i going to get i'm going to get uh, i'll divide by x minus 1 and the power x both because they are both the sides we have this so it will be v double dash plus x minus 2 upon x minus 1 e power x e power x cancel v dash is equal to 1 upon x minus 1 e power x okay and therefore we have v dash and v double dash now you put v dash is equal to w means dv by dx ko hum kya dalenge w so this will become if v dash is w therefore v double dash will become w dash and therefore this is w dash plus x minus 2 upon x minus 1 uh, w equal to 1 upon x minus 1 e this to x okay so now this looks less so let me replace this w dash by dw by dx and now this is your linear differential equation which is dv dw by dx plus pw is equal to q and uh, what is the integrating factor of this the integrating factor is e raised to integral p dx which is e raised to integration of x minus 2 upon x minus 1 dx okay and what is the integration of what is the integration of x minus 2 upon x minus 1 so i will x minus 2 and i will divide by x minus 1 so I'll write x into x and this is minus one and this is minus one this is plus so minus one okay i'm just doing some simple calculations okay so this means that this is my rough work okay don't look at this rough work so i've divided x minus two by x minus one and therefore i will write dividend is equal to divisor into quotient into quotient plus remainder what is the remainder the remainder is minus one okay you can you are better in uh, tricks so you can if you know the trick you can do it by your own method by my method so x minus two and therefore i will divide it by x minus one when i divide by x minus one you will get x minus two upon x minus one is equal to one minus one upon x minus 1 so this means that x minus 2 upon x minus 1 will be replaced by what 1 upon 1 minus 1 upon x minus 1 and therefore this integration e raised to integral 1 minus 1 upon x minus 1 dx is equal to e raised to integral dx is x minus into e raised to integral of minus 1 upon x minus 1 which is equal to e raised to x into e raised to minus log of x minus 1 which is equal to e power x into e raised to log of x minus 1 raised to minus 1 okay which is nothing but e raised to x what is exponential of log of something it is this thing right the exponential of log of alpha is just alpha so it will be x minus 1 power minus 1 which is e raised to x upon x minus 1 so this is the integrating factor and therefore the general solution will become w into the integrating factor is equal to so w into integrating factor is equal to integration right hand side into the integrating factor plus constant 
which is w into e raised to x upon x minus 1 is equal to integration what was on the right hand side of the above equation it is 1 upon x minus 1 into e raised to x tau let us check yes this was the right hand side into the integrating factor is uh, integrating factor is again e raised to x upon x minus 1 dx plus constant this and this cancels and therefore w e power x upon x minus 1 is equal to integration 1 upon x minus 1 whole square dx plus constant and this is minus 1 over x minus 1 because the integration of 1 over x square is minus 1 over x plus a constant which is w upon x minus 1 e raised to x and therefore w is equal to how much this x minus 1 x minus will get cancelled with e raised to minus 6 with the minus sign plus constant e raised to minus 6 into x minus 1 i suppose this is the answer of w right but w was not our main target okay this is a linear difference simple linear differential equation i've solved okay but who is w w was dv by dx is equal to minus e raised to minus 6 plus c e raised to minus 6 into x minus 1 and then what is v equal to v is equal to integration of this particular thing plus constant e power minus x into x minus 1 dx okay and this is e power minus x minus e power minus x upon minus 1 which will become which will become plus plus constant times integration of e raised to minus x into x minus 1 dx plus another constant which i'm calling c dash okay and how am i going to solve this integration i'm going to solve this integration by parts and when i do the integration by parts i will get it as c1 x e power minus x plus c2 i'll just get only this much okay this will become c1 i'm calling this c1 and this constant i'm calling c2 so when you simplify this i will just get this much so this will be my v and therefore my y which is v1 into uh, y is y1 into v this is the general solution correct so it means y is equal to y1 jo tha, kon tha y1 y1 jo humne initially choose kiya tha, wo tha e raised to x into v okay and therefore y will become e raised to x into this entire v which i have written here okay so this will be the general solution of the given differential equation okay